Hey everyone! Do you ever look at weather reports and wonder what's the difference between a cyclone and an anticyclone? Well today I'm here to clear that up for you in just a few minutes. Trust me, by the end of this video you'll be a mini weather expert. Alright, let's dive in. First up cyclones. Cyclones are powerful storm systems characterized by low pressure areas and rotating winds. Think hurricanes and typhoons. They form over warm ocean waters and can cause some serious damage when they hit land. The winds in a cyclone rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. Pretty wild, right? Now, on the flip side, we have anticyclones. Anticyclones are high pressure systems and their winds rotate in the opposite direction compared to cyclones. So that's clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. Unlike cyclones, anticyclones usually bring calm and clear weather. Think of those beautiful sunny days where everything just feels right. But why does this matter to you? Well, knowing the difference can help you understand weather patterns and prepare for them. For instance, if you hear about an approaching cyclone, you know it's time to batten down the hatches and maybe stock up on supplies. On the other hand, if an anticyclone is coming your way, you can look forward to some great outdoor plans. So how can you spot these systems on a weather map? Cyclones are marked by an L for low pressure and you'll see a bunch of isobars, those lines on weather maps, forming a circle around it. The closer the lines, the stronger the winds. Anticyclones are marked by an H for high pressure and the isobars are usually spaced out, indicating lighter winds. Isn't it amazing how understanding these patterns can make you feel more in control of your day-to-day -day life. Whether you're planning a picnic, a road trip, or just trying to figure out if you should carry an umbrella, knowing the difference between a cyclone and an anticyclone can make a huge difference. So next time you watch the weather forecast, pay close attention. And hey, if you found this video helpful, why not share it with your friends? Hit the like button, subscribe for more fun facts, and let me know in the comments what other weather topics you'd like to learn about. Stay curious, stay prepared, and have a fantastic day. See you next time.